Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Hot Mike. I'm your host Mike and we're continuing on in Lemonland Season 2. We, uh, we find ourselves inside of the tree here. Yes, indeed. And I hear a spider somewhere. So we'll get our trusty wooden sword out. And it's daytime, so I don't think the spider is uh, aggroed to us, but we survived in the tree all night long. And as you can see, we've got uh, the exact thing that we came here to the jungle for. Let me see if I can even remember how to get back out of the jungle. Oh, I hear a zombie somewhere. It's sometimes hard to tell because the zombies could be like underneath some some foliage here. But uh, we're going to get a lot of cocoa. Oh my god. Something under there. I don't think I want to go journeying too far into that cave though. But we'll grab we'll grab quite a bit of the uh, quite a bit of the old cocoa here. Oh yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Is there a man here? There is a man here. What does he think? He'll uh, take birch saplings, kelp, ink sacks, lily pads, vines, packed ice. Vines, wow. I wonder if, if we if we hit these vines, do we get them? No. Okay. Worth a try? Worth a try? We do have a lot of birch saplings, though, so if we remember that this man is just out... <laughs> Putzing around in the jungle. We might be able to come back and sell them some birch sapling. We need to become uh, financially viable, obviously. Oh my gosh. Murder cave. <laughs> Just waiting for a drop creeper or something crazy like that to happen. Then we lose all of our shit. Oh my gosh. I heard a... Like a whistle. Whistle, whistle. Disco, disco, whoop, whoop, disco, disco. That's, that is such a good film. If you've ever seen You Don't Mess With The Zohan. Oh my gosh. I guess that's such a good film. Now it's just a matter of uh, figuring out how to get back. Ooh, oh, and we almost died there. <laughs> we almost fell down a hole. That was almost the end of the adventure right there. I wonder if you could get white dye from these daisies. We'll try it out. Like I said, grabbing grabbing up anything we can get here. Wow, look at all the fish. <laughs> They're like bubbling in the in the uh, little little river there. Hmm. So if I had to make a guess, I think home is, is this way. That uh, tree up on the mountain there sort of looks familiar. You know, we're gonna we're gonna continue grabbing all these flowers that we can get different types of dye. Is this the same jungle? Maybe. Looks like it could be like a part of the same jungle. I think we're close though. I think I see the Oh yes. I see the birch to butthole right there. That's perfect. Like I said, I don't want to, uh, <laughs> I don't want to be naming all these buildings myself. So if anyone's got any cool ideas for anything I could build, or you want the naming rights to one of the buildings in Lemon Line downtown, let me know. Obviously, I'd probably like to keep the the burge to butthole being the burge to butthole. But uh you know <laughs> you have if you have a good name, throw it down in the comments. It's sort of like I think when I built this, it's sort of intended to be like the the pyramid in Vegas, the the Luxor. It's like the Luxor spawns a, a shit ton of monsters here. Maybe. 
What's in here? No, it's creepers. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get out of there. That chicken is is much braver than we are. Oh yeah, the bird should buckle. I went in. I I finished off the uh, the floor in here. Looks pretty darn cool. Oh my gosh, love this thing. And we're like, oh look, more rose bushes. It's crazy. Okay. Oh, I thought I saw uh, Enderman flash across the screen there. We're gonna try and get to uh, a safe spot to camp out here. And then once we get there, we are we are not getting stuck without a bed this time around. Oh my gosh, I thought that was a creeper for a second. That would have been horrible. Horrible! Bob Ross Memorial Coliseum on our right hand side there. Oh, it's our wolf. <laughs> Ooh. I hear a whistleblower. <laughs> time to time to pull out the crossbow. You have execute authority. Of course it's all uh it's all a joke because I I make the laws of Lemonland, I enforce them. This furnace still going. Holy crap. Oh. There's an Anderson Cooper out there. We're going to avoid him. We're going to try and get to our bed. Uh, we are we are not in it for a tussle with Anderson Cooper this evening. <laughs> no, we have Oh, oh, jeez. Did you see what I saw? I saw a phantom. I'm going to run. I'm running. I'm running. I saw, I saw when I woke up, play back the tape, because as I was waking up, I saw a phantom. That's a shot and arrow right out the front door. Oh my gosh. That was, that was terrifying. I had, I had flashbacks back to, oh, look, it's a squid. It's two squids. Two squids and some fishes. You could probably one-shot a fish with this crossbow. Oh, here we go. Oh. Okay, those guys all burned up. I was like, I'm ready. No, it's not a fish. It's a dolphin. Dolphins! I found dolphins. Holy crap. Holy crap. We're not going to shoot them by accident here. We're just going to say hello. <gasps> Oh my god! I found three dolphins! Oh, they make dolphin noises! Oh my god! Oh, it's like it's like the movie Flipper! Oh my god! I wonder I wonder if I what I can feed them. Probably fish, I would assume. They're like, look at this guy standing out there with his bread. Oh my gosh! That's awesome. We'll keep that in mind when we make our zoo. We'll hopefully try and uh, put some dolphins in our in our water exhibit. These dolphins are awesome. I'm so excited that we saw dolphins now. Okay, what is happening here? Why is this taking so long? Okay, you know what? We're gonna take a look. We're gonna see what kind of what types of dye we got here. So obviously we have lots of red dye. Tons of red dye. Maybe we won't change everything into red dye here. Tons of yellow. Oh, oh, there we go. You can make white out of daisies. <laughs> there we go. That's awesome. Okay, so we got that. Uh, we could turn the cactus into cactus green here. Oh. Our furnaces are still working. Here, we're going to throw our flowers in here. We we really do need to make a better storage system here. Because this is, ugh, just throwing everything into this thing. Oh, look, we even had birch saplings we could have sold to that man. 
That's that mysterious man. Wheat is ready to be harvested again, but we've we've got better things to do here. We're we're waiting on our, our crystal monument to the root cellar. We should probably also give this sheep and uh, these chickens that Milo Yiannopoulos has somehow trapped in his pen a name. I'm feeling like I'm looking at this sheep, and I think this sheep, like, if you look at him here, well, we'll have a look. The sheep looks, oh, he won't even look at us. I think the sheep looks like a, like a Simon. Simon the sheep. I really need to get some, uh, some name tags so that I can actually, like, properly name these animals so that I don't forget as I figure out names for them. This sort of gives us a little bit of a, a little bit more room to play with here. We obviously need to make sure that uh, the monument has a strong base, so of course we're going to build it just out of plain old dirt. And this sort of gives us a good, a good starting point. We'll have like an entry door somewhere around here. This is going to be the door. Obviously, eventually, it's going to be crystal, but uh, for now, this is what we'll go with. <laughs> Where are we? Nice. Very nice. All done. So now it's a matter of dyeing the glass, and I can't remember. I thought it was pretty expensive, at least when it comes to dye and using dye in order to make different colored glass. Have a quick sleep first. And then we'll we'll start the construction of our, our structure here. You can only sleep at night. Oh, this business again. There we go. We're going to do our usual run away before anything uh, can run up and hurt us here. Okay. I think the chicken just laid an egg. That's what that, that's what that sounded like. Hmm. Okay, what do we got? So we're thinking potatoes, carrots. You know what? We might have to do a bit of a, a wider door here, you know. Nice. Okay. So if we start, we need, we need potatoes. That's our, our first thing here that we got. Ooh. And I'm thinking, you know, like Minecraft is is a lot of squares, but we might try and, and round off these potatoes just a little bit. So we can sort of continue filling in our shape. And of course we want our potatoes to be kind of kind of even here. Uh Probably won't look as good if we have some uneven potatoes. No, symmetry is key. Oh, shoot. <laughs> That's okay. Now, are these going to look like potatoes, or are they going to look like lemons? I just thought about that. You know, probably, probably going to look like a lemon, which is not a bad thing. This might help it look a little more round. Okay, okay. That's a that's a pretty pretty large specimen there. 
but I think it's it's going in the right direction. Okay, okay. Now then, how potato-like do those look? Like if I if I back up here, you know, it could be like some interpretive art as well. Like it doesn't necessarily have to, you know, like it could be lemons, it could be potatoes. I think that looks pretty good though. That's that's definitely getting there. We absolutely need a little bit more yellow dye, though, just to sort of cover up those potatoes, because we don't want to get any uh, any rain or any monsters falling into our our monument there. There we go, and it's getting pretty dark. So <laughs> rather than than risk uh, death by Anderson Cooper or Joe Biden here, we're gonna. We're going to go have a sleep. I feel like, you know, this is a good time to, to leave off the episode. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for watching my, my journey back from uh, the jungle there. I'll leave you with an awesome view of Ye the Redeemer. And, uh, of course, Bob Ross Memorial Coliseum in the background there. And uh, we will continue working on our monument in the next episode of Lemonland. I'm going to have a sleep. I have been Hot Mike. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how much you're liking the Minecraft videos. I definitely had some, <laughs> definitely had a, a few weeks off here where I didn't actually release any Minecraft. But uh, you know what? It was good. It gave me a little bit of a chance to rest, recharge, and now I'm back better than ever. So I hope you come back for uh, another episode of Lemon Land next week, Monday. Be there, be square. Remember to subscribe to Hot Mike, and I'll see you in the next episode.